Welcome back, Sabbath School family. Thank you for tuning in this Thursday, April 3rd. Today's lesson is entitled, The Moral Law. Our memory verse is found in Romans chapter 2, verse 14, which reads, For when Gentiles who do not have the law do instinctively the things of the law, these not having the law are a law to themselves. Out of all the laws observed in the, in the day of Christ, there was only one set of laws that God had personally written with his finger. They were the Ten Commandments. He had Israel place the original copy of this law, which were written in tables of stone, into the Ark of the Covenant. And anyone who would try to touch the Ark of the Covenant would instantly die. The Ten Commandments were considered the framework for all other Israelite law systems. How did Christ respond to this law? On one occasion, a young ruler came to Christ and asked him, what needed to be done to acquire eternal life? Notice Christ's answer in Matthew chapter 19, verses 16 through 26. Just then a man came up to Jesus and asked, Teacher, what good thing must I do to get eternal life? Why do you ask me about what is good? Jesus replied, There is only one who is good. If you want to enter life, keep the commandments. Which ones? he inquired. Jesus replied, You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not give false testimony. Honor your father and mother and love your neighbor as yourself. All these I have kept. The young man said, What do I still lack? Jesus answered, If you want to be perfect, go sell your possessions and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When the young man heard this, he went away sad because he had great wealth. Then Jesus said to the disciples, Truly, I tell you, it is hard for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished and asked, Who then can be saved? Jesus looked to them and said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Christ ties our eternal salvation to keeping the commandments. Notice that the rich young ruler believed he was keeping the law. But by Christ's request of giving his possessions to the poor, he was revealing that the heart of the law is love. And unless we love God and love our neighbors as ourselves, then the law cannot be kept. Notice Romans chapter 13 verses 8 through 10. Let no debt remain outstanding, except the continuing debt to love one another. For whoever loves others has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever command there may be are summed up in this one command, love your neighbor as yourself. Love does not harm, does not do harm to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. Christ says in John chapter 14, verse 15, If you love me, keep my commandments. Let us seek to honor God by keeping his commandments. What Christ said to his disciples is true for us today. With man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Praise the Lord. God bless you and keep you in His grace. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow.